Hello, this is Guava Moment, and I'm here to explain some more things about Space Cam. Uh, we're going to go to the split before bonding level on Dunnoth to do that. Okay, so if we look, what we're trying to do is turn oxygen and hydrogen into hydrogen peroxide. And you might think, oh, this is going to be a pain after debond a hydrogen, debond the oxygen, grab a hydrogen, bond one here, bond the other one on the bottom. Let me show you an easier way. Let's uh, input our oxygen, grab it, input hydrogen, drop it right there. Let's uh, let's get rid of red. We don't even need to see what red's doing. So we've got our atoms here. Blue will debond twice. Okay, blue is about to hit the bond. What's gonna happen here? All of these atoms are sitting on bonders. What's gonna happen? Let's see. Oh, it just formed hydrogen and uh, oxygen as like that. Okay, well, whatever. Um, let me do that. What happens now that I've moved those two bonders? Holy crap, that's the output! That's that's the output, we're done! What happened here? Bonders, let's, okay. Let's call these bonders 1, 2, 3, and 4. What the game does is when you hit a bond, or a bond plus, it tries to form a bond between 1 and 2, then 1 and 3, then 1 and 4 if they're, if they're connected. Then 2, 3, 2, 4, then 3, 4. So when it's in this configuration, the bond priority is between one of the hydrogens and the oxygens, and then the other stuff kind of falls, falls out of that. When it's like this, the priority is to bond the two hydrogens together first, and then the only other bond you can make is this oxygen. So uh, that makes this level quite easy. In fact, we can... Uh, let's see here. Let's just have blue hammer on bond constantly. And we'll do red bond minus there. Now since red always happens first, what's going to happen is it's going to debond the hydrogen and the oxygen once. Then blue is going to try to bond things together. Since the hydrogen and oxygen has priority, it, it oh no it doesn't. Now since the hydrogen and oxygen has priority, we're done. That's the uh, output molecule and you can drop and output. This here is in fact the low symbol solution, the best one possible for 11 symbols. Now uh, just to explain some more output quirks, let's say I try to drop the atom here and output it. Does it try to output half the thing or de debond? No, it just completely fails to output it. This might not seem like an important thing, but there are levels where sitting something on a bonder, trying to output it, is a valid uh, tactic. We'll get into that in later challenges, that's kind of more an advanced thing. Now one more thing you might be a little confused about is, uh, this sure doesn't look like this, how come this is a valid output? Well it's because you can kind of rotate bonds around so you can change what the output looks like. Um, how can I visualize this for you? So this is hydrogen peroxide as the level wants you to output it, and this is how I outputted it. It's the same thing, just this one hydrogen is just rotating a bit. That's what you can do, I mean these, this is still hydrogen peroxide, this is hydrogen peroxide, and this is hydrogen peroxide. All of these bonds you can feel free to kind of rotate them as much as you'd like, and you still get essentially the same, uh, same molecule. So I uh, hope that makes a little bit of sense. So here's this in action. Uh, this is a molecule I've made for one of these levels, uh, and at first glance this doesn't really look anything like the output here, but if you rotate some molecules around and sort of redraw this, you can see that this and the output are the same thing. So you might be asking, how do we know what the bonder priority is? Is there a way we can look at this? Uh, no, there really isn't. You kind of just got to keep playing with it until you uh, find the one that works. Sometimes it uh, doesn't like working. I don't... There. That's, uh, so that's how bonder priority works. If you want bonds to uh, form a certain way, you kind of have to play around with the location of the bonders a little bit. But I hope that all makes sense, and I'll see you guys next challenge or uh, tutorial video.